Joy. We got our first marathon on Sunday. Um, what's the what's the goal? Uh, the goal is finish. <laughs> I want to be a finisher. Uh, no, I, I I'm looking for probably somewhere in the 232 to 234 range. Um, you know, I think that a lot of people go out and debut quite a bit quicker than that, and I'm trying to be realistic about my build-up and the amount of time that I was able to put into specific marathon training coming up from London. So I definitely don't want to disrespect the distance by any means and, and go out too, too hard and, and blow up because I don't know what it's going to feel like when I hit 20 miles. So um, I'm, I'm definitely taking a somewhat conservative approach to my first marathon and then hopefully look like a genius when I take minutes off my time in years to come. Right. <laughs> so I heard you had about a two-month build-up. Like, what's your longest long run? How's the training been going? Training's been great. I mean, I, I really enjoy doing the longer stuff, so I knew it was something that um, would be good for me. I did 22 miles with my longest, um, so it did, you know, it was kind of like I hadn't done a long run in two months, and my first long run was 16 miles, so didn't have a lot of time to, to break into it, so um, it was it was a quick, quick process. There was a lot of napping going on. There was a lot of, um, I was never more tired um, from training. But it's different. It's very different. Um, the burn comes a lot later in these workouts, and it's a different kind of burn. So um, I, I just enjoyed it. It was definitely really quick. Uh, I didn't have enough time to hate it, so that's a good thing. And who's been in charge of coming up with the workouts? And Gag has been in charge. Um, I think he's been. He has had some help for sure. Um, so it's been really exciting process for the two of us, kind of putting things together and. Um, what, what it all yields on Sunday. So you kind of skip the 10K, skip the half marathon, and like what what makes you jump straight up for the marathon? Well, I did I did do the New York City half earlier this year. Um, that was kind of my opener to the track season um, or before the track season. So it it wasn't as well as I had ex it didn't go as well as I had expected. So um, again, I wasn't specifically training for it, but um, I really enjoyed the distance despite it being. Know, not the greatest race I felt like I could put together. So I knew after having done that that I was going to, you know, go for London or obviously go for London first and then um, hopefully do me one as well. Right. And what about the Olympics? Everyone dreams of being an Olympian. Did it live up to the hype? <laughs> it was definitely very interesting. Uh, the Olympics was incredible. Uh, I mean, there's not much you can, more you can say than that. Um, London was awesome. They did such a great job. You know, the performance there, I was personally really excited. I think um, you probably saw me at the finish line and after the final and felt definitely disappointed um, not being able to perform my best there. And I, I don't think it was for lack of fitness. I think I was ready to go. So, um, you know, that fire is definitely burning in me for next year again. Um, but, you know, New York has been on the radar for us for at least a year now. So we kind of thought, you know, first goal for the first part of the year would be to make the team. And um, hopefully the second goal would be to come out and, and race New York. So I feel pretty darn lucky.